I see you finally returned to crypto after we lost 60k and you left for a year, okay? We're, we're now back at all-time highs and you're back again. That's absolutely fine, okay? It's fine. It's not something I'm going to hold against you, but you did lose out on a lot of money, okay? I'm just saying. Why do you always get in at the top? I'm just saying, all right? Uh, but don't worry. Today, we're going to be talking about three coins for three different investors. First one being Bitcoin, second one being Gala, and the third one being Coco Coin, right? These are three coins that I think have massive potential here. If you're a bit more of a risk-off investor, then there are times to get into Bitcoin. If you're a bit more a little bit more risky, then definitely Gala. We'll get into that in a minute with the TA, where you should get in, of course, and then a Coco Coin as well if you are an absolute de degenerate, okay? Absolute degenerate out here uh, just looking for the, the 10x, okay? Or the 4x is what I'm looking for anyway on that coin. But uh, we're going to look at this here today with starting with Bitcoin. So let's get into this. Obviously, we've had massive on-chain inflows uh, over the past kind of month, okay? We're talking over $22, $23 billion bought up from ETFs. That is why we are absolutely blasting it right now. Uh, and what we will say with this is we are in the middle of a measure move, right? But if you're a bit more of a cautious, cautious investor, where should you be getting in? Well, the time to get in will be around roughly 77 to 78K, as I have been saying all year. But uh, yeah, now you're back here after, after leaving us for a week. It's okay. I know some of you haven't left. Okay, some of you have been here in the trenches with us. That's cool. You guys are great. Okay, you other guys though, uh, this is where you get in, okay? This is where you get in. 78K. That's what we're looking at right now. If we can get in at 78K, then it's an easy ride up to this Fibonacci linear regressional growth curve, okay? This bad boy is usually the middle intersection point for all of our bull runs, as you can see. And it's very well respected, okay? So uh, we're going to be targeting that for our first major investment slash take profit, okay? Uh, so, yeah, 20% from 78K upwards, uh, and you would close that trade roughly around $93,000, just in case we do smash it to 100K, and then we get a massive uh, rejection or a massive uh, bit of sell pressure. I imagine a lot of orders are just before 100K. So 93K does make sense to me uh, in terms of taking profit there, okay? So that's what we're saying with the long-term investments. Uh, besides that, on-chain, looking fantastic. New all-time highs for hash rate, okay? So the miners are in on this, they expect this to go up, and the miners usually a very good indication of where price is going. So yes, I'm expecting a measure move to complete around 75K. I am still in a trade here. And uh, after that, probably a retest of the low 70s, and then a blast off. One thing we will say though, is we do have uh, the certain event happening at the start of next month, uh, and that is going to be important because if uh, someone wins, if one, one side wins, or I think we dump it no matter what side wins, to be honest, but uh, it, it could spell for a bigger dump, swan event type of thing, uh, which could actually lead us down into the 60s, if not 50s. So just be aware of that. But after that, the on-chain is saying that we easily, easily recover from that point. So you might even get a really good entry here on Bitcoin around the low 60s uh, if we do get that dump around the election period. Okay, next coin I want to talk about here, guys, is going to be Gala. Okay, Gala, if you do check them out, uh, I've been covering these guys for a while, but uh, if you do check Gala out, guys, it's important to note that yes, the chart doesn't look amazing right now, okay? Uh, it has had a bit of a tumble, but these guys, one, they've been hinting at certain partnerships, okay? Uh, two, they uh, they have the best working GameFi platform in crypto, hands down, it's done, okay? These guys basically have, imagine Facebook when they started releasing all those games on Facebook, right? Uh, and there was Farmville and there was all these other games, right? Gala basically have that already made. Tech is already made. They got farming games. They got all sorts of games on there. They even got poker on there, right? So uh, I expect Gala to absolutely fly when Bitcoin does start actually using that all-time high as support, okay? So yes, Gala, super cheap right now, super undervalued, all right? Uh, the, if they do do certain partnerships that I'm aware of, then uh, I would expect Gala to absolutely fly, okay? Just ridiculous. We're talking probably 10x from here, if I'm gonna be frank with you guys, all right? And this is why Gala is my pick, my main pick for the mid caps, okay? Uh, so definitely check out Gala. We do cover it in the Patreon, okay, as well for signals, but for investment guys, uh, where should you get in to Gala? I mean, you can start accumulating it now, uh, or if we do get that election dump, right, then we should be looking around 1790, this kind of area in, in the sense, of course. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, after we hit that four hour volume weighted ATR band, 
around 18, okay, then uh, that would be the area I would be starting to accumulate this. I already have been accumulating in this period, okay, but as of right now, uh, if you are looking for that entry, I do think this does go lower first. I do also think this explodes after that. So Gala is the other one. Uh, the last one in the low caps, okay, is good old Coco coin. We have been covering this a lot. We picked this probably three weeks ago, guys, and we picked this up around here, and we said, hey, uh, this coin has been backed by Binance Chain, okay, just like Solana Foundation backed certain projects, okay, Binance Chain have actually backed this meme coin by providing liquidity to them, and they are going to be in the blockchain week, all right? So, in terms of my third coin here in the low-cap world, okay, this is probably in the 40 millions, this is this kind of area, right? Uh, so yes, very low market cap in the grand scheme of things, but not so low where it can die, okay? I think this is challenging. It is making a lot of very nice parabolic structures, okay? Uh, we had this structural line. It is trying to currently reclaim that. Okay, we're actually gonna get rid of this now so it's a little bit cleaner, but uh, yes, we are also playing out a beautiful measure move uh, on this wedge structure. So yes, it's looking pretty good right now for Coco Coin. Definitely check out Coco Coin, okay? And uh, a lot of these coins, not Coco Coin, but a lot of these coins you can actually get on Bybit. Check that out as well in the description. And you can get them on a DEX, which is called Apex. Uh, and it's basically a DEX where you just connect your wallet, no KYC, and it behaves just like Bybit, all right? It's, it's literally my favorite exchange at the moment because uh, no KYC, just connect your wallet, trade leverage, easy game, okay? Uh, it's, it's my main thing at the moment. So uh, yeah, feel free to check that out as well. Uh, links are in the description. But besides that, guys, yes, Coco Coin. I am seeing complete this measure move fairly, fairly soon. We do have blockchain week happening now. So I imagine they're mingling, getting investors, getting partnerships, and I see this thing getting to 1625. Now this this key area for Coco Coin at 1625 is going to be interesting. And the reason for that is uh, it is a very big, big resistance, okay? We can see that from the previous areas. We obviously had this airdrop where it dumped, but this is a key resistance, not just because of levels, but because of moving averages and average true ranges weighted by volume, which is the volume weighted ATR band, right? Uh, and we can see this that, uh, yeah, I would be expecting some resistance around this area. And how do we know that Coco Coin is going up after we hit this? Well, if we blast through it and do something like this, yes, that's fantastic, right? If we actually do something that's more likely here, which is hit this, get a bit of a pullback consolidation, and then if this trend line holds here, then that's a great sign, okay, because this is a, a heavily tested trend line. If this trend line holds here, it's gonna be super bullish for this, and I would expect to get over that four hour very, very soon from that point. But overall, with this coin right now, very bullish structure, looking like that V-shape V shape is playing out, which is what we kind of bet on here, and we are currently up a significant amount here. Every time I recover this in a video, it's gone up, <laughs> right? We're up 22% right now. I'm aiming for that 4X up here somewhere. So uh, yeah, we'll just see how this progresses. But uh, yeah, I mean, those are my three coins. So in summary here, guys, we got Bitcoin. If you're a bit more of an investor with a lot more money, you want a lot less risk, okay? You know Bitcoin's not gonna rug, okay? So uh, yeah, in terms of a long-term investment, in terms of just this run, in terms of uh, uh, finding that 20% here up to 100K, then uh, yeah, Bitcoin once we get over 78K, okay? Gala, basically after we dump a little bit on Gala, I would buy that thing, all right? Um, can actually get that up here, okay? So Gala, after we've dumped a little bit more, definitely buy that thing. I'll definitely be buying it down here a little bit more uh, around this liquidation levels, okay? And then we have Coco Coin, which, uh, I mean, it is a bit of a gamble, but it is the meme coin world, okay? So if you want Coco Coin, uh, I would either wait until we get over this four hour volume weighted ATR band, get in, use that as our kind of, uh, our uh, what's the word here? A trailing stop loss here. Use that as a trailing stop loss um, and then ride that thing to the moon, okay? Uh, if it's bullish, it'll stay above there, all right? Uh, and then besides that, yes, uh, I just wait for a pullback first and then buy the dip and then you can use this trend line or the 15-minute volume weighted ATR band as the trailing stop loss as well, all right? That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully this has been, this has been valuable for you. Uh, make sure to leave a like on it, leave a comment if you can, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.